Welcome to Black Stream Stars, my name is Austin. If you know me, you know I don't get motion sickness. I say as I tell a story about how I got motion sickness. <laughs> but realistically, I never do. Other than this one time, it's never happened before or after, and I'm okay with that. Every year during 4th of July, topical, my town would have a fest. Literally just called, you know, like, town name fest. Had every year. It started the, like, week before... And then it ended on the 4th where there was a fireworks show. They had rides, and they were pretty fun. But the problem is, is it wasn't a pay-to-enter. It was, you had to pay for tickets. And then the rides used a certain amount of tickets. And the whole time growing up, it was always $1 per ticket. And the best rides were 5 tickets. So you had to pay $5 to go on one ride. Granted, you could buy a wristband. The problem is, if you bought the wristband, that was around $50. It's so the only reason it would ever make you know financial sense if you went there multiple days but it's during summer i had baseball to do essentially every day rather for myself or my brother so i really didn't have multiple days to be going to the fest so i go there usually one day during the week ride a bunch of rides with friends and then i'll go there on the fourth to watch fireworks so for me the wristbands never really made sense but at the end of the day it was mostly just kind of like a social gathering anyway i digress <laughs> one year uh middle school maybe Early in the sixth, no, because I was with, no, it had to be elementary, no, it actually had to be third grade, at, well, at latest third grade. Quick side tangent. Uh, the school I went to for elementary school, you know, first through fifth, in third grade, they're like, hey, just so you know, the current middle school is too small, so that's going to be the new elementary school, and the school you're currently in is going to become the new middle school. So for fourth and fifth grade, you're gonna, you guys are going to split up to go to one of two current elementary schools we have, and then you're going to meet back here. And I had a really close friend during first or third grade, but once the school split, I went to a different school, he went to a different school, and for those two years, we never talked, we never really hung out, ever. So we grew apart, and then once we got back to middle school, we were essentially strangers. So that's how I know this had to be at latest third grade. So at least we narrowed that down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it probably was third grade because that was the oldest possible chance we could have been. Regardless, third grade. Me and my... Realistically, he was my best friend at the time. Well, he was like my best school friend at the time. I really didn't hang out with him outside of school. Except for this time, because we went to the fest. We were getting very off time. We go to the fest, and his dad drives us. And before I go, my mom's like, Hey, don't forget, you need to be back at this time so you can get home, get changed, because you have a baseball game later. I'm like, okay, sounds good. I know, Tobias, I had to play baseball. Yeah, me, yeah, you too. We go to the fest, we're having fun, spend money, go on rides, and probably about a half hour before his dad was going to pick us up, we're like, man, we are kind of thirsty, you know, it's middle of summer, we're hot and we're tired. We go to the food section, and I don't drink coffee. It's not because of this specific reason. Beforehand, I never like coffee. To this day, I don't like coffee. But we go, and for some reason, I see that they have a white chocolate Iced coffee. I don't know it's I'm like, well, I gotta drink it because I love white chocolate and it's ice, so it's cold. So I get a large white chocolate iced coffee. And this size was essentially like a big gulp from 7-Eleven. Maybe a little, no, probably a little smaller, but still, it was very big. So I get this white chocolate iced coffee and I just down it to where all of it is now inside of me. We go on a ride called the Ricochet. Which it probably at other places has a different name. But essentially there's a post in the middle. And at the top of the post there comes out four arms. And each arm then has four... I guess the easy way to call it is fingers, which has a cart in it. So the fingers spin around. And then the whole thing spins. So you get like double spin action. I know other places probably have the exact same thing called the different thing. It's hard to describe without a visual. But the whole point of this series... This whole channel is that there is no visual <laughs> it's just my words sometimes to bias yeah we go on this ride we're having fun near the end i'm kind of like hmm i probably shouldn't drink all that iced coffee so we get down like all right let's go have your dad pick us up so we start walking to the parking lot waiting for his dad and i kind of bend over and i throw up like a good throw up not just dry even anything it was just good but oh it was good like, whew, feel better, but man, that was a lot. 
Then I throw up a second time. Also another, like, meaty throw up. <laughs> and after the second time, my friend, he goes, well, there goes your baseball game. And I'm, while well, just staring at my puddle of vomit on the ground, I go, there goes my... Th- <laughs> I can not even say it. <laughs> I go, there goes my... Th- <laughs> All right. Okay. I say... There goes my frosted flakes. Everyone just kind of goes, that's disgusting. I'm like, yeah, but... Because you could legit see them within the liquid of the throw on. I do throw up a third time, but right before a third time, a few people we know from school walk up. And that's right as like they're walking by, like, oh, hey, how's it going? And third time, just... Blah. And the one girl with him, he goes, ah, oh, gross, Austin. So I'm like, hey, they weren't just throwing up. His dad arrives like two minutes later. We get in his car. They drive me home. And I'm just in the living room, just kind of laying on the couch. I tell him, hey, I just threw up a bunch. And she makes me buttered toast. And for some reason, this was the most delicious food I have ever eaten in my life. Even to this day, nothing has beaten that buttered toast. I think it's just because, you know, when you throw up, you remove half the stuff that's inside of you. I'm talking about I threw up three times, so I have like... It would be half, quarter, and eighth. So I was a hungry boy. But that toast was two slices. Toasted, buttered. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. And then I went to go play a baseball game. I really don't remember what happened in the baseball game. I was fine. But yeah, that was the time I threw up. It wasn't the last time I threw up. When was the last time I threw up? Oh yeah, it was in uh, New Year's in my best friend's girlfriend's car. I, yeah, I know I told that story. That was the last time, so that's been over a year. That's fun. At the end of the day, sometimes you just need a good throw up just to get everything out of you and feel better. And I don't think I'll ever really drink in white chocolate iced coffee. It was really good though, so I honestly might have one again. I don't like coffee though. But oh, it was actually very good. I wonder if they're actually doing the fest this year. I don't think they are. So I, I think. Shosh! I think I was actually told by someone that they weren't doing it. Ah, darn COVID. Anyway, enjoy this video. I'll see you next time.